My wife and I are 34 years old. We have been happily married for eight years. We are blessed with two wonderful daughters, aged six and eight years old. Our home is conveniently located near an outdoor park with a fantastic children's play area. Our daughters absolutely love spending time there whenever I take them. No matter how tired I am after work, I make it a point to take them to the park regularly. I find a comfortable spot at the picnic bench while they gleefully play together, enjoying every moment. My wife wholeheartedly supports the routine as she knows that the park allows them to run around and burn off excess energy. After their playful adventures, we head back home and both our girls happily take a refreshing bath before going straight to bed. It's a lovely and fulfilling way to end our day, and it brings us all closer together as a family. That day, much like every other day, I came back home from work early, and my brother was visiting because there was a hockey game that we had to watch. He came directly from work. My daughters were running around, hoping to get ready for me to take them to the park. But I was going to finish watching the game before taking them to the park. I was watching the game with my brother while my wife made dinner for the family. We normally eat dinner after going to the park. But since we were going to the park late, my wife decided to serve dinner. My brother and I watched the game while we ate. This wasn't the first time my brother came to watch the game with me, because we root for the same team. My brother lives about 30 minutes away from me, and he visits my home often. As soon as the game ended, my daughters were ready for me to take them to the park, and we were in a hurry because it was getting dark. The park was only 10 minutes away from my house, so we would normally stay there for two hours. But that day, I told my wife that we would be back in an hour because it was already getting dark. On our way to the park, my daughters started running, and I was about to tell them to stop before my youngest daughter fell and bruised her knee. So we decided to head back home to dress the wound so it wouldn't get infected. It was a minor scratch, but it was bleeding. We were just about five minutes from home, and we had left less than ten minutes ago, so I knew my wife would ask us why we were back so soon. When I approached my house, I was expecting my brother's car to be gone as soon as I left the house, because there was no longer any reason for him to be at my house since the game was over and we had finished eating dinner. He had his own family waiting for him at home. When I approached the entrance door, it was not locked, which was surprising, because my wife normally locks the door as soon as we leave. My brother's car was still in the driveway, which I didn't give a second thought to, as sometimes he falls asleep on the couch after eating. As soon as I opened the door, I could hear clearly what sounded like my wife having sex. I rushed to the bedroom and found my brother on top of my wife. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. They saw me as soon as I caught them, and it only lasted a few seconds. But it felt like eternity to me. Flashes of memories of how my brother had been visiting my house all along, and I never had the slightest clue that he was having an affair with my wife until now. My whole world came crashing down. I have loved this woman my entire life. I don't even know anyone else that I care for that much besides my parents. My brother just ran into the bathroom and my wife just stayed in bed staring at me. I had no words for her. I now know that I was in shock and I reacted differently than any normal person would. It was like reality hadn't set in for me as I left to find the first aid kit to tend to my daughter, and after 30 minutes, I left for the park, even though it was already dark by then. My wife gave me a call after I left, and she said she was sorry and that she was drunk and didn't know my brother was going to force himself on her. I was just severely heartbroken. I love this woman so much, but things like this make me think the world is just a horrible place. As soon as I arrived at the park, I sat on the picnic bench and my daughter went away to play. That was when it started to sink in. I started to cry. I called my mom and told her what I had just witnessed. She was livid at my brother. The betrayal was overwhelming, and I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. After I got off the phone with my mom, I gathered my kids together, and we went home. When I arrived home, my brother's car was already gone. My wife was nervously sitting on the sofa waiting for me. I didn't acknowledge her presence as I wanted to tuck my kids into bed and shield them from the ensuing confrontation. 
After I put my kids to bed, I calmly sat on the couch perpendicular to my wife and asked her how long the affair had been going on with my brother. She told me that it was just that one time and that my brother had forced himself on her. I didn't believe her story. My brother is not the aggressive type. He couldn't find a pussy if it was in front of him. My wife is the outgoing type. I told her to tell me the truth, but she stuck with her story. Even when I threatened her with a divorce, she kept saying that he forced himself on her, and she was trying to push him away. At that moment, we were at an impasse. I didn't want to make any rash decisions. My dad was calling me now, as I'm sure my mom must have told him, but I wasn't ready to pick up the phone. I just felt weak and exhausted. A few hours earlier, I was chatting with my brother in front of the television while my wife was cooking in the kitchen, thinking that everything was fine. Now I knew it was all a lie, and I didn't know how long it had been going on. The following day, all hell broke loose. It was like all the anger I had held back had burst open. I called my brother's wife and told her what I had caught him doing. And when I got my brother on the phone, he was telling me that he was drunk even though we hadn't had any drinks that evening. He wasn't drunk when I left the house about 10 minutes before catching him on top of my wife. I knew my wife was lying about my brother forcing himself on her. So, I didn't bother confronting him with that. Well, I called off work and it was a while until I was ready to go back. A few of you asked me why I didn't smash my brother's face in. It was mainly because I was in shock and didn't even know how to react. Moreover, if I had gotten arrested, then social services would have gotten involved in the upcoming divorce and it would have been used against me. I got all bank accounts in order. I removed my wife from the kids trust fund and my own account straight away in case she tried to empty them. She has her own account for the money she earns from work. Well, she did indeed try to empty all of them two days after I kicked her out. FYI, I had already paid the bills for the house and cars days before this incident happened. I have been to the doctors to check for STIs literally days after I posted and have been given the all clear followed by a long meeting with a team of divorce lawyers to find out what is to happen next. The lawyers recommended that I get a DNA test on my daughters as well, which was a tough decision for me. Being a computer programmer, I have remote access to my home computer and my wife's laptop as well. I haven't tried snooping before, but I did this time and I found my dear wife had left herself logged into Facebook and I stumbled upon messages of her chatting with other men, photos, texts, paid bills for hotels and meetup arrangements, and more. It turns out that she may have had an affair with more than just my brother, and had been doing so for seven out of our eight years of marriage because she was chatting with men on Facebook during those times. I never had a reason to snoop, even though I could, because I trusted her entirely. All this was given to the lawyers as there is no going back now. I have to wait for a few months to start the process as there is currently a backlog due to the pandemic. Also, our trust in her has been completely destroyed and no amount of couple counseling will save this marriage. I returned home three days later, packed her bags and kicked her cheating ass out. The kids are with me and after a difficult conversation with my oldest, they are now fully aware that mommy is not coming back. But also, they can still see her. Why am I angry with her? I won't be that parent who holds the kids to ransom. My in-laws and family are fully aware of what their daughter and sister have done. Her relationship with her family is now strained. As soon as I started snooping on her Facebook, I didn't stop there. I started snooping on her text conversations after I kicked her out. And good thing I did, because I found text messages from her basically saying that she's going to ruin me in court and saying things like, I was controlling and abusive. The lawyers have all the copies. I have deleted Facebook due to her small circle of friends sending vile messages for ruining her life. After taking the paternity test, it came out that my oldest daughter isn't mine. I am even more devastated than before. I love my daughter so much and I can't put into words the grief I am in. The DNA test also came back with 0% relationship, so I'm not sure my brother is the father. Most likely, there are other men involved. I can't believe that I never suspected her cheating. I feel so stupid and clueless.
I showed my wayward wife the DNA results, and it appeared that she had known all along. I exposed the results to her parents as well, so I'm sure that they know she is the one at fault here. She had been pretending to be nice to me. I filed for divorce, and my soon-to-be ex-wife signed the papers. I have a couple of court dates. This has been a rough time for me, and I am worried that I will not get custody of my children, whom I deeply love. I really wish that I had never taken a paternity test and found out about my oldest daughter, but that's not important to me right now. I still love both of my children, and I am working towards a better future. My brother and his wife are currently going through a divorce as well. Moreover, I don't know if the DNA results would change anything, because my brother also did a DNA test on my daughter, and he's not the father either. So, there must be a third or fourth person involved, who knows. I will raise her, and I will always love her. Nothing has changed. It's not her fault, and I will continue to be her father. Thank you for reading until the end of my story. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's hear your reactions in the comments section. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.